This is the Japanese film Mother, directed by Tatsushi Omori and released just last year. This, my people, is the film I've been waiting for, the Japanese film I have been begging for. It is beautifully shot, beautifully directed, beautifully edited with gut-wrenching performances that are bound to leave you taken back. I'm honestly so disappointed that I missed this film last year, but I'm excited to talk about it and why I love this film. But without further ado, this is the Japanese film Mother. This film follows our main character Shuhei and his mother Akiko and the abusive relationship they share and the fact that Shuhei gets dragged down by Akiko and the toxic relationship that builds between them. What follows is a confusion of love and distrust all bound together by a series of abuse that shapes Shuhei into the person he becomes and the future that he is going to be presented with. And like I said earlier, this film is gut-wrenching. It is a heartbreaking story all made even worse by knowing the fact that it's based on a true story. In fact, you can almost say that this film acts as a catalyst in talking about different issues with Japan, ranging from the social welfare system in Japan, how mental instability is treated, and how the abuse of children is treated. But what's more is that these serious topics are aided by brilliant filmmaking. First and foremost, the performances are fantastic. Most notably, Masami Nagasawa does a fantastic job in her performance as Akiko. I hated her so much in this film. There were times I had to pause just to breathe because of how disgusted I was with her character. But she does a brilliant job in her performances in this film. And it had me guessing, is she just genuinely a really terrible person? Or is there something more like mental instability? I never really felt like I knew the real Akiko. And that was what made her performance so engaging. But in all reality, all the actors are bringing their A-game in this film, and it was wonderful to watch them on screen. And these actors are complemented by top-tier directing and editing. Take this scene, for example. Notice that Shuhei, when he's concentrating on the writing, the camera just moves back and forth. The conversation is fluid and uninterrupted. But as soon as something he doesn't agree with gets brought up, the camera becomes stationary, and we instead have hard cuts, signaling that the conversation is over. Also, the director Amori makes some very interesting choices. It always feels like as an audience member, we're always left almost at a distance from the characters until we're not. For example, Amori just cuts directly into the film. There are no credits, no title sequence, it just cuts directly into the film. From then on, it always seems like a bit of a tug of war. Like the audience is at times very distant from the characters and we get these beautiful long shots, but then gradually we're brought forward to these dramatic close-ups that take their time lingering with these characters and sitting with their emotions and what they're going through. All of these elements combined made for an exciting, engaging experience, which is kind of an accomplishment when you think about how long Mother is and the fact that it's over two hours long. That's a real accomplishment, especially for how quiet this film is and how paced it is in following these characters and the decisions that they make. Now in regards to flaws with this film, I would say that it can be a little bit vague at times with how much time has passed and where characters are located. And most specifically, at the end of the film, no spoilers or anything, there's a sequence that's a little bit confusing on how much time has passed. But after watching it several times, it made more sense. It's just a little bit confusing. But in all reality, guys, I am totally nitpicking here. This film was a wonderful, riveting experience that I think you're gonna enjoy. Granted, this film is not meant for everyone. It is by far a disgusting look into a darker side of Japanese society, and it's going to upset you. It's gonna make you feel something. But then again, that's what this film is designed for. And the fact that it's based on a true story makes it even more disturbing. Guys, should you watch Mother? Yes, absolutely. It is a wonderful experience. I think you're going to enjoy it. You can watch it on Netflix right now. Go watch it. Give your support to this film because it has been a long time since a film made me excited about filmmaking and excited about the filmmaking going on in Japan. So definitely go see it. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it and hope you enjoyed the video. 
Let me know what you thought about this movie in the comments below. I'd really like to hear what you guys think about it, and also to get some recommendations from you guys on what you might want me to review. Are there any Japanese films you want me to look into? Let me know in the comments below, and if you like the video, definitely like and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot, and yeah. Thank you guys so much. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Take care out there, my anime people. Peace out.